There was a big difference just now on him with being touched. Trust is everything, I feel like. That's the most important thing to me anyway. Good morning y'all and welcome to today's video. I am currently on my way to the barn to go and feed everybody. Good morning everybody. Where's Paco? Paco's over there. Hey bud. Good boy. Levi's fixing to be 23 I think. Is it 23? He was born in 99. Yeah, 23. Hello, you little chubby thing. Good morning. Good morning. You are so cute. Yeah. Oh my goodness. We have blue jeans. <laughs> my sweet girl. I have a needy little cat. Kit Kat just likes me to carry her around everywhere where I feed up. She's such a sweet girl. Yeah, good morning. Good morning. Okay, so my goal for this morning is to work with the calf. So after I feed, I'm gonna head to the cow pasture. And I'm gonna try to get a halter on him today, um, but we're just gonna kinda play by ear. He's really laid back, so I'm pretty sure I'll be able to, but I'll just kinda see when I get over there. Okay, I'm on the way to feed the pigs. I just got done scrubbing out their pool. Look at their tails. Are y'all ready to eat? Come on. duck egg in here. I currently have two egg orders right now that I'm collecting for. I have one for a dozen duck eggs and the other one is for a mixed dozen with four silkies and morans. Okay, I'm done feeding in the barn for now. I'm about to head to the cow pasture to work with the calf. So I'm trying to get some stuff together. I've got my rope and a lead rope because I might have to put a rope around him to get him in the pen. I'm gonna go and find the calf halter. I'm trying to find my hot pink one because I like that one better than my black one. So that's what I'm looking for right now. I found it. I think that's everything I need. Is that good?
Okay, it was definitely harder <laughs> to get him in here this time from a few weeks ago when he was a little bit smaller. <sighs> I'm out of breath. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Get you some food. Okay, so right here, I'm just trying to kind of evaluate how comfortable he is with me petting him and rubbing all over him and everything. By the end of this little session with him, I'm able to rub all over his body on both sides. So we definitely make a lot of progress within this little session. But as of right now in the video, he's still very jumpy and doesn't fully trust me yet. Okay, so from me evaluating him, I'm not going to try with the halter today just because he doesn't fully like trust people, so I don't want to like force him to do anything. Um, so I've just been trying to like rub all over him, which it's kind of difficult for me to do this with me being pregnant because you're okay, buddy. Um, I get out of breath really easy, so I can't like chase him around everywhere. You're okay, buddy. You're fine. Good. Very good. Okay, once he starts eating, I will stop. Good. You're okay. So I'm just trying to get him a little bit more used to people and being handled for his new owners. We already have a deposit down on him, like I had told y'all. He's going to a very lovely home. I actually met the lady through getting some silky chicks and modeled orpingtons she's the lady i got the modeled orpingtons from um she's a super sweet lady so i'm super glad he's gonna be hers she's coming here sunday to come and see him so i'm just trying to get him to where you can interact with them a little bit more good boy i'm gonna give him a little bit more food he's just still really skittish which is normal Okay, so he just let me rub on him and I went ahead and walked away as he was letting me rub on him. I never want to stop on a bad note when they don't want you to rub on them. So I'll go back to him in a second, even when I'm working with my horses. Anytime they're letting me do what I want to do, I don't keep on until they stop, if that makes any sense. So I just want to make sure that he's fully comfortable with being rubbed all over before trying to put a halter on him and before trying to halter train or start halter training because that's not going to get us the results we want if he's not even comfortable with being fully like touched good boy you're okay you're okay buddy. good boy good once he starts eating i'll walk away He's looking at me, he's like, what is she doing? <laughs> Good boy. I want to see about keeping him in a smaller pen 
even if I have to keep him with his mom in a smaller pen. That way I can work with him more. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. You're okay. What are you doing? What are you doing? You're okay. really too big. I don't want to stop like petting him when he moves because then he'll know if he moves he doesn't get messed with. But it's hard for me to like keep up with him. Good boy. You're fine. Don't know if I can right now. You're fine bud. If he lets me pet him, I want to stop. I don't want to keep on until he's like, okay, I've had enough, and then he leaves. You're okay. Because it's not how you make progress with an animal. You have to have so much patience with an animal, especially babies when you're working with them, because trust is everything, I feel like. That's the most important thing to me anyway. I want the animal to really trust me and people Good boy. That is 
so good. I'm gonna try to do his left side now since I was doing his right. You're okay. Good boy. Good boy. You're okay. You're okay. You're okay, buddy. I just want to put you on your other side. That way I know you're okay with both sides. Okay, so right here, I'm trying to touch him on his left side. Right there, I just did a little bit and released the pressure. And right there, I want to rub him until he stands still. I don't want to Yay. rub him while he's still moving and release the pressure while he's still moving. I want him to show a sign of being relaxed, and then I take the pressure off. You're okay. Okay, as soon as he stops, I'll stop. I don't want him to think when he's moving, I'll stop. Oh my gosh, I'm tired. Good boy. You're okay. Good. Good boy. So I'll stop, but not leave him. I'll stand right here, but I'll stop touching him. And then I'll rub him. A little bit in a bigger area and then I'll stop if he was if he would have just started to move just then I would have continued to do it but he was standing still so I stopped good boy I'll stop. Y'all can't see us over here, but he just stopped, so I stopped. He's already doing a lot better. You're okay. Stand still, and I'll stop. Good boy. Good. You're okay. You're okay. Very good. Job. I'm about done with him. I just want to make sure we end on a good note. He's doing so good. I'm so happy with the progress he's made today. Okay, so I think I'm going to end right there. Um, like I said, I don't want to end when he's running away from me or not wanting me to, you know, do what I'm trying to do. He's doing really good. We've made a lot of progress today. So I'm really happy with him right now. He's so sweet and so cute. The younger heifers won't be long before they can go with other cows. Oh yeah, I'm so happy with how he did. He did really good. Definitely made some progress with him. So that's good, isn't it, buddy? You're so cute. I love working with babies so much. Look at him. Do you see Tucker? How he's acting around her? She might be in heat. We all 
Well, I just got back to the barn. I'm super, super happy with the progress that I made with the calf. He's doing really good. It just takes a lot of time and a lot of patience when you're working with babies like that or just animals in general. It just takes a lot of patience and a lot of consistency. I've only worked with him like once or twice, so he's doing really, really good. The last time I worked with him was in November or beginning of December, I'm pretty sure, because I had gotten sick and everything. So it had been a while since I'd worked with him. Today's notification shout out I have up on the screen and it goes to Bryn. She said, I love your vids. You helped me with my horse and with a lot of stuff with him. Thank you. Bryn, that makes me so happy that I was able to help you with your horse. That means a lot to me. I'm so glad that I'm able to help y'all with my videos. That makes me so happy that I'm able to help people. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. And don't forget to subscribe to see more of my future videos and to see more of the progress that I make with this calf. I love and appreciate y'all so much and I'll see y'all next time.